Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie the Nomo. Hi if you're new here or hey if you've been here before. Today is Friday, March 11th and I'm feeling pretty good and I am currently in the middle of a writing sprint with my wonderful friend Autumn Ashley. I did have some intentions of doing this vlog a little bit earlier because it's currently 7.42 at night and I thought I might do other things within the day and I did do stuff, but I didn't film anything and I kind of forgot to start the vlog. But my day has been pretty chill. I woke up at like 7.30 this morning. I took the day off at of work. So I just kind of like meandered around my house a little bit. I cleaned up some things. I took my dog for a walk. I had my morning coffee. And then I uploaded a video today to my channel. And then pretty much after that, I immediately got in the shower and got ready for the day because I knew that I usually take a long time to do everything, especially because I kind of want to do the whole pamper. Like I did like, you know, the body scrub and I washed my hair today and I did my makeup. So it took me a little bit longer. And then I went out with my husband. We did, we got lunch. We bought a little like stand for our hallway which was much needed just because like we have so much stuff and we don't really have a light in the hallway without turning on the big light so now like we put a lamp out there um and just kind of updated a few things like we really didn't get much but got some food because we might get snowed in so i got a frozen pizza for tomorrow night and yeah that was my day we also watched the season two of upload which is on amazon prime it was, we had like three episodes left and they're like a half hour to 40 minutes each. So we watched those three episodes this afternoon and then now I'm here. <laughs> like it does, it seems like I didn't do a lot, but a lot of those things took up good chunks of time. So yeah, I have my little bit of wine to celebrate with Autumn and I'm currently in the middle of writing chapter 14 of my co-written work. I am about to get into my like Harper and Eli. So I'm writing for Eli's perspective. He, it, they're both romance writers of different genres. Eli's contemporary and Harper is more like period romance. And uh, they're about to try to start writing a novel together and they're gonna just, it's gonna not go well. So that's the chapter I'm writing is when they're like trying to throw out ideas and they can't agree on anything. So yeah. I have, um, I don't even know how many words I wrote so far. It hasn't been a lot. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Uh, 388. Okay. Maybe it's been, I mean, I guess that's good for a sport when I'm trying to get, you know, get my senses together. But I thought maybe I would have been able to bang out the chapter, but I think I, I'm taking slower because I'm a little bit distracted. But anywho, that's what I'm doing. I'm, like I said, I'm going to probably be sprinting and kind of hanging out with Autumn and whoever else shows up until like 10 o'clock. And then I might go to bed. I don't know. I kind of want to read and I'm debating on what I want to start. I think I want to pick up like a self-published book. I have a couple of them and I'm just in the mood to like be able to support my, my small indie authors. <laughs> so yeah. Anywho, that's where I'm at. I'm going to stop rambling. Welcome to a new vlog. Talk to you soon. It's me. It is March 19th and it's 8 o'clock. Well, just about 8 o'clock at night. I could have vlogged a ton and I didn't. And I just want to do a quick update as since it's been like a week, I think, since I've updated my vlog. I haven't had much footage, but I had a great day today. It is March 19th and Ostara is tomorrow, which is March 20th. March 20th is the first day of spring. So I... This is Saturday and tomorrow I'm doing a little bit of a ritual with my little coven for Ostara. So today I did all of my spring cleaning and to be honest, I was very excited to get that done. Uh, my husband pretty much told me that he was going to do his own thing today when he was going out with friends all day. And I said, okay, like I could get some stuff done. And I just had truly a lovely day. I cleaned a lot and even though there's definitely things that I could like this room which maybe I'll pick up a little bit it is a little messy <laughs> but like I washed all the floors and I like picked stuff away I did all the laundry like I washed my sheets I just kind of rejuvenated my house a little bit and even if it's minor it feels so good to like 
be in a somewhat clean house. Like the main rooms that I use are clean, which is good. There are some things that need to be done still, but that's another day. The main stuff is, is good. And I also cleansed my house with sage. So just inviting Persephone and Freya and all of my spring goddesses back into my life. I'm very excited. It was like 70 degrees today and then I had to take some stuff to Goodwill. So I just made like a little date out of it all. I took the stuff to Goodwill. I found two books at Goodwill, so I bought them. And then I went to Starbucks. I got a pink drink for the first time because I was just looking for something light and not really caffeinated. And it was wonderful. And then I went to the bookstore, bought The Last Laugh, which was the second book in the initial insult by Mindy McGinnis. I read the first book. I wanted to read the second one, so I bought the second one. And then I picked up Panera, came home, and ate. And now I'm here. The Worldwide Write-A-Thon is going on. I have been in streams all day, but I haven't written anything because I've been cleaning and running around. So this is the first one. It's Caitlin Ash's channel, and this is the first one I'm actually going to be able to write in. I'm really excited. I'll talk a little bit more later, but I did get my critiques back for my first 10 pages, and there's a lot of good like things to consider with that. So I'm going to go through and start kind of editing those 10 chapters, and then I'm going to continue and finish up the edits that I was trying to make from where I started before the critique. And we're gonna get my curry stuff ready. If I have time tonight, depends on how everything goes, I'm going to try to get my synopsis a little bit up to date, and then I'll fill you guys in on kind of where I'm going with my query stuff. But yeah, just want to check in and say I'm still alive and this vlog is still going, but it's been a little while, so talk to you soon. Hi guys, it is Thursday, March 24th, and Oh, I, I don't even know. I think I only updated this vlog three days. It's been quite some time and I have not been in the headspace to vlog, but I also really haven't been doing pretty much anything consistently enough to vlog something in regards to writing. I have been trying to pick up things here and there and then like by the time I think about vlogging anything, I'm already done with stuff. But I will say that I have been trying to take care of myself and trying to be kind to myself because it has been very hectic the last two weeks. I've had some personal life upsets that I've been weathering, but they definitely weren't expected. And I've also just been pretty emotional, so that's not a fun time to vlog. <laughs> and because of like how some things happened, like the days that I was going to write and going to be productive, they pretty much got like turned upside down. And then there's today, like the 24th as I'm filming and I was thinking about writing, but honestly, I just, I know that I really wanna like sink into my writing and I wanna just like focus and not have to think about other things. And I just don't think I'm in that headspace today. So real life chat, like sometimes our own mental blocks for writing are ourselves <laughs> and it's okay. But I have been taking time every night this week to read before bed. I'm actually reading an arc right now and I'll talk more about it in my wrap up, but I am super into it. It's kind of like a why it's a YA book, young adult, and it's like a fantasy thriller like urban fantasy. It takes place in New York. It's pitched as Stranger Things meets Get Out with sapphic love in it and it's called Burn Down Rise Up. I'm super intrigued so far because it's I'm a couple chapters in and the chapters are really short and they're quick and it's like just very interesting. I love books that take place in New York City or like big cities in general because there's so much to play with and there's like already like a huge mystery building and I'm I'm hoping it's going to be executed well because I'm I'm loving it and I think because I've been so disappointed with young adult fantasies and I've been kind of not reading I haven't been gravitating towards young adult especially with fantasy because I'm just not happy with them as much anymore but sometimes I forget that other YA books exist and they can be so good and this kind of like thriller urban fantasy style the types that I've read have worked for me and I feel like this is where I should like fall back on sometimes when I think about like young adult in, as a whole because straight up fantasy or high fantasy 
really does not work for me much when I'm reading in the young adult genre. And usually if it works for like a book or two, I fall out of love with the series by the time it's over. So this is just refreshing. So yeah, I've been reading that and I've been dabbling with some writing here and there. I wrote a little bit more in my co-written rom-com and I'm still loving that. I've been trying to add on little bit things like in my classes. So Wednesday night I have class and when we have, we don't really have a break in class, I'm not going to lie. But like every now and then I'll sneak like a line or two and that's been how I've been writing sometimes on Wednesdays. And I don't get very far, but every line counts. And I'm also almost ready to query. <laughs> it seems like I know I keep saying that, but I get paid tomorrow. So my goal is actually to finish my synopsis. Well, I have to edit my synopsis. So I'm going to edit my synopsis and then pay for a critique on that because I don't think it's very good <laughs> even with edits that I've done already. And I think I just want a little bit of a clearer feedback for that because the rest of my stuff has been critiqued and given feedback. And I think I'm feeling much better about my query letter and my pages. So yeah, that's my goal for the weekend is to finish up that synopsis stuff and pay for my critique and move on. So the only other thing that I wanted to quickly chat about was a critique and getting that from two authors. So when I went to the class a couple weeks ago, I got and paid for an extra critique that was in addition to the class but in order to get the critique you had to attend both portions of the class so i did that and i got the critique and that was an add-on and it was from one published traditionally author and one self-published author so they both gave feedback separate from each other and they both had some good things to say the one was i think way more like structural of like wording so a lot of like maybe try writing it this way as opposed to that and you know just some clarification and the other feedback was more about big picture stuff about you know like it didn't grab me until this page or there's some things that I think would be better shifted around so both feedback was pretty valuable and honestly it makes me happy because if you remember the vlog that I talked about that class I felt like the class itself wasn't very helpful because I'm already beyond a lot of that stuff. And I got kind of like an added bonus of feedback too, which was super helpful. And overall, I, I want to make a separate video about this, but my experience receiving feedback from a very credible source, which is a published author, was highly worth it. I think, you know, doing research and making sure that you get someone who you do believe will give you good feedback is valuable. And in this case, I felt like knowing the integrity of the author and the like years that they've put into it, it was worthwhile for me. And I did get a ton of good feedback and I feel so much better about moving forward with this query process. Like when I did my impulsive in like querying an agent, I like am ashamed of myself now because like the difference in the quality from when I did that random query to today, I'm like, well, I probably missed out on that agent, but it is what it is. So I want to make a whole separate video on like the benefits of maybe getting and buying a critique. So let me know if you're interested in that because I think it would be well worth it in my opinion and I'd like to share more about my experience with that but I think it's worthwhile to have a sit down video to talk about it because I think I have too many thoughts to share in a vlog type of video but anyway I just want to pop in here because I'm not gonna write anymore for like the sake of this vlog it's a very short vlog but I think that just where I'm at this is just gonna serve as an update video of I'm here I'm still writing somewhat but my quality and my time of vlogs has not been great. So it is what it is. But yeah, so let me know down below if you would like a sit down video talking about the pros and cons of buying a query critique package. And if you'd like that, and let me know how the month of March is going for you. I would love to hear any kind of writing updates or reading updates and let me know what else you want to see from me. I did make a community post maybe the beginning of March, but I wanted to know what kind of videos you'd like to see if vlogs aren't always easy for me to make. I will definitely keep making vlogs as I can, but if you guys have any ideas for sit down chatty videos, let me know and I will try to make some of them because those are a little bit easier to film and edit than a vlog is. 
And if I can make a little bit more of those to supplement vlogs, I would love that. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you're well. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.